And I'm next year. I I really got a hard time predicting this fight. I don't got a lot to say about this one. Uh, I don't know why they decided to put this fight in Utah. I mean, both these guys, if they don't get a finish in the first round, it's going to be really ugly. Um, I see some people thinking Delima's going to come in here and wrestle loose for three rounds, which I think is a possibility for sure. But I could also see a world where Delima gets taken down early. Lewis, you know, does that Derek Lewis get up and then Delima gasses and Lewis just catches him with a bomb. Obviously, Derek Lewis recently has looked really bad. He's been getting finished early. He's been in the UFC for a long time, and it could just be that he's done. And Delima's been on the other side of the coin where he's, since moving up to heavyweight, has kind of had a second life in his career. And right now he's on the best run. He's 4-1 and one his last five fights. And obviously, he's fighting the biggest name that he's ever fought with, Derek Lewis. And uh, he has the leg kicks. I think those are going to give Lewis issues. And then obviously... In the pocket, if these guys collide and just exchange early, either guy has a chance to win. But I think Delima is probably a little more technical, whereas Lewis is the bigger, more powerful guy for sure. Both these guys have big killer power, though. And um, obviously, Delima has the better wrestling. He's the more well-rounded fighter. And I honestly, I think this fight's going to be a shit show, man. I, I don't know. Like, I could see the first round, Delima... Almost getting Lewis out of there, but Lewis survives. And then round two, it's like a bunch of pushing against the cage. Round three, a bunch of pushing against the cage. And Delima wins a decision, or it could be an early finish. But I, I like Derek Lewis. I, I've always been um, you know, a fan of the guy. I picked him as a big underdog in certain fights. Like I remember I had him as like an over 2-1 to one underdog when he fought Francis. That came through for me, even though that fight was... Uh, you know, pretty bad, but I've had him in some other spots where he's a big dog, but I I feel like it could be the end for him here. I don't really know. Um, if he comes back, looks phenomenal, and takes out Delima, maybe we'll be having a different conversation, but I'm going to say Delima wins a decision in a super sloppy fight. He could get the first round finish and look impressive, and that's the best case scenario for Delima, but uh, I'm going to say that this fight's a terrible fight, and Delima wins a decision.